Hello, beta testers. From enemies spawning right in front of you, to full-on clipping through the map trying to interact with anything, it is my pleasure to bring you over a hundred bugs that I've come across in Saints Woke Reboot. Like the video so more people know the mediocre, soulless, $60 afterthought that is this game. Please, forgive my enthusiasm as well. I've been called a liar and a number of names for advocating for curvy women like the game used to allow, as well as acknowledging that it's buggy. As a darkie myself, I know all too well that recognizing a problem to some makes you the problem. But I'll gladly and proudly wear the target on my back if it means that I get to retain the dignity that comes with my honesty. This game already had an uphill battle with the deliberately divisive choices made in neutering a property people used to like. You claim verbatim you will not back down on your lazy placeholder watchdogs cast, your cheap voiceovers, your royalty-free music, more on that later, the fear of being real and therefore relatable, it fucked you. Volition, all you had left was gameplay. And in showcasing this dated buggy constantly freezing up and forcing game restarts, pathetically short shadow draw distance, bullet sponge infested mess, you have certainly sealed the fate of this game for anybody who was on the fence. To any weirdo hate watching me with their junk in their hands specifically to get mad, only to try and reach out to me on Reddit because you're getting blocked. Like, who's nobody's forcing you to consume this. There's no gun to your head. And even if there was, you'd probably react like the shopkeepers in Saints Row who cannot be held up. I guess that's dated. As dated as the gameplay. Listener, comment below your favorite aspect of the out-of-touch developers fighting fans only for their game to come out and look like this. I honestly barely had time to watch too many streams, but the consistency of some of these bugs was nothing short of astounding. People think a day one patch is going to fix all of this, but if it doesn't, this footage will serve as a nice representation of how long these problems have plagued the game. I will eat my words in admitting that it does take genuine talent for Saints Row to take Unreal Engine and make it look janky, dirty, rigid, and incapable. This is the same engine Epic's been using to flex on the industry with Fortnite. They just added sliding and mantling, super sprint, long jumps, Spider-Man grappling. The maneuvering is so satisfying over there. And look at your woke game. That one's free. This one charges. No train collisions, no holding up stores, no chain reaction explosions boneheaded AI affecting enemies and friendly companions who often do not move, only for the mission to instantly fail if you cannot revive them in time. Look at this footage. Got you, Eli. Got you, Eli. Please believe me. <clears throat> so, this is Kevin, developers. That one's easy to remember because in your laziness, you killed him. No, I'm kidding. In your laziness, this DJ who cooks doesn't wear a shirt. Bullet point under his streets, you know, kind of like your streets lack pedestrians, you know, bullet point under your game. What did you tell the reviewers that are going to all over your game? Just go, OK, we know there's not going to be pedestrians, so we just want you to don't even mention that because we're going to add that in. Don't even mention that. OK, you want a hand job? And they go, let me see who you got in there. Let me see these developers. And they come out and you're like, oh, no, nah, man. Yeah, it's going to be a nah, buddy. Imagine my shock when the list of the tracks that are licensed in the game gets out. So so I type it in the YouTube, give some of them a listen, and many of them barely have a hundred or a thousand views. And it sounds like stock music, but you can tell it's not supposed to. How many corners did you cut? How many fans did you waste time arguing with to make a game 
with empty streets. It's like a COVID simulator. You'd have to have no taste to be into this. I feel sick just looking at it. Even these obvious comical observations are too edgy for the Steven Universe lovers writing the cringe you've no doubt already seen showcased all over the internet. Honestly, haven't known shock like this since 1998 when Undertaker threw mankind off Hell in a Cell and plummeted 16 feet through an announcer's table. I cast this game into the bargain bin where it belongs. May Volition bask in the flames, not of the sexist homosexuality of your Seymour Skinner developers, but in this Agents of Mayhem 2 that they've crafted. How dare you remove the ability for women to represent themselves a decade ago? The cooler studio, the less diverse studio full of white men that I thank and want to shake the hands of because it was apparent that they respected their fans enough not to just say fuck ya before the thing comes out and then it runs like this. When enemies disappear and NPCs freeze and aggressive poppin is out here causing crashes, bro. Come on now. These bugs might have been charming if like New Saints wasn't so neutered, so sanitized, no jiggle physics, no choice and like walk animations. You took out all of those awesome WWF emotes and replace them with the kind of shitty youth pastor would would really just go ooh that's neat I'll have the kids do that for a play on Easter fuck you it's 2022 I know straight gay bi trans men and women that would simply love for their character to represent themselves their OC their avatar it matters Wrestling, uh, there were tie-ins and Fall Guys and John Cena and The Rock are in Fortnite. Oh, why are you, like, fighting? What works? How stupid do you have to be? Volition, I thought your plan would be to pay streamers to trick people into playing this. Which I don't have a problem with. I have a problem with people paying for it. In your cringy game, Eli delivers the line, The world is full of uninteresting people and I'm not going to be one of them. My name is Kyle. Allow me to say, The world is full of fake-ass liars. Shilling with a mouth full of pubic hair. And I will not be one of them. Eli is a bobblehead nigga. The inoffensive, no muscle mass, borderline feminine version of a black male that some people consider inoffensive, non-intimidating, and what they wish to see of black people. I reject it. We reject it. And to make it abundantly clear, we have no issue with inclusion. We take issue with inclusion at the cost of exclusion. When you push too hard, so hard, and pander to a minority, expect minority funding. When people recognize the pattern, it becomes all too easy to reject. You're as hilarious as South Park's incarnation of a uh, goth non-conformists. But mentioning South Park next to you is kind of disrespectful because Matt and Trey Parker are intelligent enough to take shots at everybody. Saints Row developers, you'll never be insomniac, you'll never be from software, you'll never be universally praised because skill, talent, passion, functional eyes and ears, a recognition of what doesn't does not resonate is necessary for success, but you're lazy. You're leaning on trash like this and pushing woke nonsense in a shallow attempt at tricking trans, black, any gender people into this, and you're transparent. You're more transparent than a company changing their marketing for Pride Month, which makes a character like Cartman always funny because he's shamelessly identical to some people. Matt and Trey Parker just have the courage as comedians to execute this so well. But it's not just the courage, it's the balls to make people laugh at what they can relate to at the cost of dweebs like y'all. Throwing your tism fits on your Twitters trying to mock people while delicately avoiding the point. Viewer, thank you for watching up to this point. I should get this game and let the nightmare continue, but meh, $60. I don't know if they deserve that. Are you planning to play Saints Row and would like to share your bugs? Join the Discord and send me that link. Love you. Later.